Today I have a quick tip for you with Rock B. Imagine that you have picked up hacking and you've also upgraded it, but you have not managed to get your hands on any new weapons. This doesn't feel great. You might think, well, what am I supposed to do against two shield enemies? Um, you could hack weapons and drop a firebomb into weapons, but that takes a really long time before anything happens. Um, and they might still be able to put out the fire sometimes. So you might think, well, I'm going to hack their shields and I just get one shot with the heavy pierce. Uh, maybe I have to send that shot into shields so that I can get a second shot in. That means I'm delaying my damage against weapons. That's not great either. And what happens if your shot misses? Well, then you're waiting for another shields hack. So it would look something like this. Maybe we decide, okay, these weapons are quite dangerous. I'm going to start hacking and I'm going to send my heavy pierce into weapons. And uh, yes, I've, I've kitted this ship out so it doesn't take damage. That's not real. And okay, I could, if that didn't happen, I could send a firebomb into shields. And then I wait for the shields to burn down before I can use the heavy pierce again. So this isn't great. We're reliant on a single shot per hack cycle. We then do have the fire bombers back up into the shields, but it's not great. Okay, so for this tactic, I'm going to show you to work. You pretty much need level one weapons training or preferably level two. Uh, I think technically it could work sometimes without the training, uh, but that would be quite rare and I wouldn't actually try it. So what we're going to do is just wait a bit longer on our hack to change the timing. So about now, could have done it maybe slightly earlier. And I'm looking at this charge bar up here, I want to line it up roughly with the middle of those two bubbles, maybe a little bit towards the one on the left for safety. Like so. Okay. And now I'm firing the heavy pierce from the back weapon slot. Uh, if you had another weapon, you wouldn't want to fire it uh, from the forward slot with this measure. So we see that the shields have gone down to one in time. You get one shot in. I <laughs> hope that doesn't burn down, that will annoy me. Uh, and I can firebomb their shields as well. And their shield is nearly back up, but we do get to hit them. So that's two heavy pierce shots in one hack cycle. And then the shields have burned down, so we get another one. And you see, doing it that way, heavy pierce and hacking can be quite effective. Oh, and I should have explicitly mentioned we are using level 2 hacking here. Level 1 hacking does not last long enough. Even though it will take down enough shields, they won't stay down long enough. And uh, what's a little bit interesting here is that it's not going to work against an automated ship. Uh, you might want to take a moment and think why. So we have the same setup, level 2 hacking, level 1 weapons training. I could even gamble and you know fire it just slightly earlier. Hacking always takes two seconds to drain a shield barrier regardless of um, the enemy status how many shields they have, whether they are manning the system. However, on the way back up, the shields will recharge at the normal rate. And uh, automated ships actually get the manning bonus even when a system is hacked. That is not true for crewed ships. And in fact, the only way to remove a manning bonus from an automated ship is to deal system damage to that system. Borders, ion damage, none of that will work. It has to be system damage. 
Um, so their shields are recharging faster than the ship we saw previously. And I can even bring the heavy pierce forwards to cut down on the travel time, but it's not going to be enough. See, not quite enough. Now there might be occasional cases where it just works if you time it perfectly, but I don't think so. So for an automated ship, you need level two maximum weapons training. And uh, then it will work very reliably. You don't even need a third slot. There we go. Now you might say, well, how am I going to have weapons training that early in the game? Uh, but here's a fight in Sector 1, and I can get weapons training now. I can train all my crew in all stations. Um, but the only one I'd actually train in uh, weapons is, is this one crew. And I know they only have one shield, but we can simply do this. We unpause for a short time and then turn off the uh, heavy pierce before it actually fires. And we've got weapons training. And just keep doing that. Um, you don't want to unpause for the shortest possible time or you'll actually miss the training. Uh, watch the icon over here next to Lauren. There it was. And you can just keep doing that. It's really tedious, uh, but it can be done. So it's up to you whether you want to do that. That's what I used to do. Nowadays I just use Cheat Engine to skip the process and do exactly what I would have done otherwise. But as I say, it's up to you. Against a three shield ship, you will need level three hacking. You don't actually need any weapons training here, although it does help. It makes the timing a bit more forgiving. And you can start the hack a bit earlier because um, it takes another two seconds to drain the shield. I'm a bit late on that hack. You can see it's very, very tight, so uh, I definitely recommend having training. And that's all there is to it. Just timing your hack so that you can get two shots of a heavy pierce through uh, two or possibly three shields. As a summary, you need level two hacking at least um, for two shields. You will normally need at least level one training and it has to be level two training for an automated ship. And against three shields, you will need level three hacking.